Hello, so this will be a very quick video. I just want to show you how to install KED Virtual Labs. If you're in my physics physics class, I will be asking you to install uh, KET Virtual Physics Labs. Not install, but um, accept my invitation. So what a teacher does is they go to KET Virtual Labs and they sign up, they get a 60 day trial and they get to invite students. So I kind of created a student account and I'm just showing you how I did it. I invited myself so I sent myself an email and then when I have Gmail that's what it looks like. So it's from Virtual Labs. Ooh, that's, that's way too quick. Let's go back. So that's from KT Virtual Labs um, Section 1 Trial Student Invitation Email. So pretty much it says your key to the lab is your voucher number and I kind of highlighted that. So they're going to email you with the voucher number. Then I clicked on the l link that they gave me. So it pretty much says it gives you all the steps. And the first thing is I, I clicked on that link. So when I clicked on the link I was taken right here. I filled my stuff out. I called myself as a student. Physics Dude California and then I gave my email address and I don't mind you knowing what my email address is and then I uh, chose a password I called my name I wrote down teacher 8 my students will have to put the actual full name and then I put the voucher code or maybe the voucher code was already filled in for me but if it's not just put the voucher code in there anyway so you um, click on complete sign up and you're going right there. It tells you to check your email. So I went back to my email to uh, click the activation link. And we're back to my email. So I click this link right there. Which brings me to right here saying you are now, uh, your account's not activated or it's not active. So now my account is active and it pulls, pulls me to a welcome screen. So I always have a hard time finding KED so I just kind of go to Google and I type in uh, KT virtual labs and then it's like the third option right there so I click on that and here we are it still remembers that I want to be oh that's my teacher account so let's change to um, I think it was physics dude California and I uh, know Captain America or something like that. I just kidding, my password's not Captain America. Yeah. So I'm student. You can go to labs right here, click on that, and then you have all these different labs. And they're pretty nice because I can click on let's say this right here, simple pendulum. And it brings me to the lab. I can run the lab. If I run the lab, it's going to load it first. But if I, if I run the lab, it gives me a lot of options. For instance, I can first put my initial uh, situation. Like, let's say I want to start swinging from here. And I can start, and then it will just be like a pendulum. Now, this pendulum, in this, this, is, in this case, it's a perfect pendulum. So, because it says no drag, but I can kind of uh, put some damping on it. And, what damping is is pretty much something that slows it down, like air molecules. So if I add damping, you can see how the pendulum is decelerating or just coming to a stop. And then when I no damping, it will just continuously do this because nothing is stopping it at this point. You get to change the size of the pendulum. So let's say we have it like this. If the pendulum is, uh, if the pendulum is compared to like a door that's how big it is it's like the medium size but it can make it huge so if you put it right next to a uh, monumental you can tell that the pendulum is moving very slowly and that's because it is actually really fast it's still going the same speed as um, not the same speed I mean obviously it's getting faster as, it, as it's going downwards but it is it's just the distance it travels is much bigger now because we're comparing it to a huge object 
and if you go to like a small object like let's say that then it will be going a lot faster anyways uh, my students, when they uh, run the lab, they're going to also have to do the um, uh, details and instructions. Well, they kind of, they see that. What I, what I meant to say is they have to get this guy right here. They have to print this out for me. Well, I print it for them, but they have to answer these questions that they have. And that's pretty cool because they get to like try different angles and have several trials that they go through. I think it's just really cool.